I don't experience discrimination, and it hurts. And I was embarrassed. I was humiliated. Buying snack food with food stamps and humiliated for it. But what this woman purchased is not in violation of the system. Coin6 News was the first to bring you Michelle Mosley's story. She says a convenience store clerk ridiculed her when she bought snacks with her Oregon Trail card. Our report last night at 11 got a lot of people talking, so we wanted to get some answers about what's legal and what's not when it comes to food stamps. Jessica Morkert is live with our follow-up, and Jessica, what did you find out? Well, Kid, I learned that there are regulations when it comes to food stamps about what you can buy, but when it comes to nutrition, there are no rules. I want him to be held accountable for his actions. Michelle Mosley is talking about the clerk she says humiliated her in front of other customers Thursday afternoon. The mother says she made a rare exception using her Oregon Trail card to buy gummy bear snacks and juice for her kids and a Red Bull for herself. He held the card up like this and he asked anybody else if they wanted to use the food stamp card and to me he was insinuating like it was his money that I was spending. The story has sparked outrage online and on social media. Plaid Pantry has since apologized apologized and an investigation is underway but some say their sympathies lie with the clerk and certainly needs to provide as well as she can for her family however i also see a frustration level with folks in the in the service industry in working in the stores that see the abuse of the system. Oregon Trail guidelines say in general, if it's edible, you can buy it, but alcohol, tobacco, hot food, or any food sold for on-premises consumption is not allowed. We asked the USDA Food and Nutritional Services Program about health standards. They released this statement saying no clear standards exist to define foods as good or bad or healthy or not healthy. What ultimately it boils down to is she's buying, they, people can buy the wrong things, the non-nutritional things, setting up the pattern for the children to do the same thing in the next generation. I'm not thrilled to be on food stamps. It's not like that's what I want for my family. And back here live now, Plaid Pantry tells me that they are planning on meeting with Mosley to discuss what happened and what's next. Mosley says that she's not seeking any damages in all of this, but she does want the clerk at that Plaid Pantry to be held accountable. In Southeast Portland, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News.